The facility is a new biology building for the University of Washington. It's consolidating roughly three different buildings into one building for the new campus. So it's 220,000 square feet of new greenhouse space and 187,000 square feet of research and lab facility. Early on in the project, we were faced with some of the early coordination challenges, so where the major equipment went, where major uh, pathways for utilities had gone, so that's what was key for that early BIM and VDC use. Um, as far as the building, the early challenges were, um, we were 13 feet over height with the structure, so the design team was able to shrink the building by 13 feet, but by doing that, we had to shrink all the ceiling spaces, and especially the plenum spaces. And what we had done is that we had taken out a lot of the ductwork and put installed chilled beams. The chilled beams shrunk that ceiling space, but with that you have other utilities in the ceiling that we also needed to coordinate and figure out how those went. So some of the spaces, the design team, they didn't want to shrink it and they wanted that extra height. So we used that early BIM coordination to figure out what those spaces were. Because we shrunk the building on all the floors, it's very highly condensed with lots of mechanical and electrical systems. You've got uh, the chilled beams that are in there, the um, exhaust systems that are in there as well. And the systems just are, had to be zoned initially so that we can understand who was going to go where so that they could coordinate that all you know, up front so we had schedule certainty and cost certainty through the project. And that was key because once you fabricate something off site and you deliver it, it absolutely needs to go in right the first time. We can't send that back to the factory to be remade. It needs to be done schedule certainty and that cost certainty so the owner knows exactly what's going to happen at the end of the project. So you would have a vision of a space and, and whether it's a lab space, a chemistry lab space, you have ideas of what you want this space to look like. You have ideas on what it, how it should operate, how many air changes, what the lighting level should be, does it have backup power? How do you want this lab space or this manufacturing space to operate? And so what we want to do is we want to, from the center of excellence, is really challenge those ideas and make sure that we ask those questions up front of, of how do you want this to operate? And then we can take that through the designers, through the architects and engineers, and transform that into a, a, a visual model that you can see so that that is your vision before it gets built. To make a change from, a, from the design standpoint and the visual model, it doesn't cost anything. So it, it's gonna help you with cost certainty and schedule certainty at the end of the day and it's gonna give you your vision from day one. So when you move in, it'll look just like what the model showed at the end of the day.